Well, this man who nearly died after being shot during a 2012 crime spree spoke to 10 News about his road to recovery. Family and friends of Will Barton show their support for him at a fundraiser in Mission Hills today, and that's where we find 10 News reporter Candace Crone. And Candace, Barton says his love for art helped him through all the tough times. It has Preston and his artwork was on display here at 57 degrees where friends gather to help raise money for the young man who beat the odds and survived being shot in the head. If pictures were really worth a thousand words, these paintings would tell the story of a man who's recovered from the unthinkable. It's like I am in control of something finally. I'm able to stand up out of bed and walk to the dinner table or breakfast. Simple tasks that are the inspiration for Will Barton's artwork would show just how far he's come. When 10 News first met Barton in 2012, he was in a hospital bed shaking uncontrollably with a bullet still in his brain. The young man was shot at random multiple times by Philip Hernandez, who was killed in a shootout with police after he went on a crime spree. Barton has made incredible progress one step at a time, but he says one of the biggest challenges has been reflecting on his life before the shooting. Wondering if I'll ever get back to be where I was or do the things that I would enjoy doing before. Instead of focusing on the tragedy, local artists shared their talents and generous friends opened their wallets for a fundraiser to help Barton pay for medical expenses that add up to about $200,000 a year. It's an ongoing financial burden for the family. I mean, we've done several fundraisers. We've run through all those funds. We just have to continue to support Will by doing fundraising. The support is what Barton says will help him achieve his goal of becoming a recreational art therapist and one day use his art to help others recovering from traumatic experiences. Now that I am an artist and someone who's gone through a horrific event, made, made light of it and turned it into a positive, I would like to share that. Now, even though he has limited mobility, Barton was able to paint his artwork holding a paintbrush in his mouth. Just an incredible young man with such a passion for life. We're live in Mission Hills. Candace Crone, 10 News. Great recovery, great story.